While the Emil Bach House was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and built in 1915 for the Bach family, the tea house was an addition to the property around 2006. Let's take a walk to the side of the tea house. Note the design on the outer rail of the tea house. The design of this rail is meant to match and complement Wright's design of the wall next to the main house. We'll walk over there now. This wall separates the front yard from the back and provided privacy for the Bach family. Here we see the backyard looking toward the sunroom on the back of the house and up to the second floor of the house, which is where the bedrooms and study are located. It's April in Chicago, so the grass is just beginning to green. Soon we will have lots of colorful blooms in the garden area. We usually have a family of bunnies here in the backyard. They live here year round. Let's walk around that wall now to the side of the house. The gardens here will also be in full bloom very soon. We're walking toward the front door and looking up, we will see the second floor balcony and the roof line of the house. This is a flat slab roof and was quite different from the prairie style of the time, although Wright did use this design in some of his other homes. Let's walk toward the front of the house. We see a row of rectangular windows in the living room designed for privacy. We can't see inside the home from here, but the windows provide plenty of light to occupants. Ebel Bach House is situated on a busy thoroughfare in Chicago, but the design provides a sense of privacy and quiet and the grounds and greenery accomplish Wright's goal of integrating the outside with the inside of this beautiful home.